Well, good evening everyone. My name is Elsie Normington and I would like to welcome you to this singing session tonight on this Thursday evening. And uh, this session is called Take 20 and it's 20 minutes of gospel songs and sayings, old and new. And uh, many of these songs are really inspirational numbers. And tonight I just want to share a few of these old songs with you just to encourage you on your life journey as a Christian. And if you're not a Christian, then you may want to consider the claims of Jesus Christ and how he can come into your life and make you anew. Well, we're going to start tonight with a great old song written by Johnson Oatsman. He wrote over 3,000 gospel songs and he was just a, a local preacher. He worked for his father's retail company, wrote many songs, and this is one that I've chosen. And this song is about the second coming of the Lord. It's called We'll Be There, We'll All Be There. And this is often sung by male voice choirs. But it's a great number and I thought we could have a go at singing it tonight. So here we go. <clears throat> that one day Jesus is coming back and we'll meet him and we'll be taken up to be with the Lord forever. So let's do verse 1 again. When the last day shall come and the all shall be called and the saints speak the Saviour in the air when the pilgrim and stranger and past reach your home we'll be there praise the Lord we'll all be there Oh, we'll be there, we'll be there On the dawn of that great day When the saints gather home We'll be there, praise the Lord, we'll all be there When the 
well, there we go, that's a great start to a little take 20. And as I say, if you've just joined in, this is 20 minutes of gospel songs and sayings. And it's really just a little encouragement with all the old fashioned gospel songs to encourage us along life's pathway. Now then, the next song that we're going to do tonight is a very, very famous gospel song. And it's frequently sung in country and western settings. Now, this was written by George Bernard in 1912. But of course, many, many gospel singers have made this famous. And it's the Old Rugged Cross. So here we go. We're going to have a go at that tonight. The Old Rugged Cross. And of course, that's the very basis of our faith isn't it jesus died at calvary for our sins on that old rugged cross so here we go Cross and 
There we go, a real golden oldie song. And yet here we are, it lives on again in all sectors of society. All kinds of artists sing and have recorded this song about the old rugged cross. And I love that last line, I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Because when we get to meet Jesus in heaven, He's going to give us a crown. How wonderful, isn't it great to have that wonderful hope of eternal life and one day we'll meet our blessed Lord Jesus. Now then, I've got a little poem again for you tonight and it's another poem by Joanna Fuchs. And if anyone has got any favourite Christian poems you would like me to read, please just send me a little message and I'd be delighted to read it out. And if you have an old gospel song that you like, Send a wee message to me and we'll see if we can do it for you. So this poem is entitled, Like You. Lord, help me to be in your holy will. Tell me what to do today. Lead me in your righteousness. Make me more like you, I pray. Guard me against this corrupting world, its perverted priorities, temptations too. Direct my mind towards your commands so I can focus my life on you. Fill my heart with your light and love so I can assist those I see in need. With you as my role model, let me be like you in thought, in word and deed. And as Christians, that's our aspiration, isn't it? It's to become more and more like Jesus. And his spirit is living within us and he gives us grace day by day to become more like him. You know, the Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. So that's the wee poem, Like You. Lovely wee poem by John of Fuchs and used with permission by poemsource.com. And I'm playing all my songs tonight on my keyboard here, my core keyboard, and they're all my own arrangements. Now then, next up, we're going to sing again another well-known classic song. And this song is entitled, It Is Well With My Soul. Now, you may have heard the background to this song before. It's a very moving story, actually. It was written by Horatia Spafford. And um, way back in 1871, he was a very successful businessman and there was a huge fire, the Chicago fire, and he lost a lot of property and property was damaged and he also lost his four-year-old son. However, being the man he was, he got up and got going again and developed his business interests and had a plan to come to Europe. However, he had still a lot to attend to in Chicago, so he said to his wife, I'm going to send you on and I'll meet you in Europe with the four daughters. So off they went. Of course, they were in a boat way back in these days, crossing the Atlantic and coming over to Europe. And very sadly, that boat had a collision with another vessel called the Loch Ern. Many, many people died. And very sadly, the four daughters died and only the wife survived. And she sent a telegram to Horatio Spafford saying, saved alone. And it was on the back of this terrible, terrible tragedy that he sat and penned these words. And they're beautiful words. And you may want to think about how these words might affect you today in your circumstances. It is well with my soul.
property, lost his four-year-old son, he then lost his four daughters and his wife survived in that terrible collision on the Atlantic Ocean and this man could write, it is well with my soul and it's a real challenge to all of us today isn't it, how we respond when we're in darkness and difficulty and discouragement to focus on that very fact that it is well with 
my soul. We're going to sing verse one again, when peace like a river. And I really encourage you to, if you're sitting in your living room, just to really join in. And when we come to that chorus, sing, it is well with my soul. And allow your faith to rise within your spirit tonight as you trust in the Lord. When peace, when peace like a river attends my way. your spirits that lovely song and you know you've noticed tonight some of the songs are about the second coming of the Lord and I just want to read this from 1st Thessalonians 4 verse 16 and 17 I'm sure you're familiar with this verse but this is what it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Isn't, isn't that just such a wonderful hope that we all have for that day when the trump of God will sound and the Lord Jesus will come back for his own. Well, we're coming to the end of our little Take 20 tonight and we're here for our last song. And our last song here was written by a man called Elisha Hoffman. He wrote this song in 1887. And again, he wrote over 2000 gospel songs, which is really amazing. He was also a pastor. And also he had received two letters from old colleagues who had lost their wives. Their wives had died and they were going through the pain of bereavement. And as a result, Elisha was just looking for some kind of word of encouragement that he could bring as some kind of relief to these colleagues for the grief that they were facing. And, you know, this is the verse that this song is based on from Deuteronomy 33, verse 27. It says this, The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. So we're going to sing Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, 
we're done, but I think we deserve another reverse at it, don't you? Are you joining in? Leaning on the everlasting arms, because sometimes in life, we just can't just do it all ourselves. We need to trust in the Lord Jesus and lean on his arms. So let's just sing, what a fellowship, what a joy divine, as we finish. And I hope you've been blessed tonight by this little 20 minutes of old gospel songs and saying. So here we go, what a fellowship. What a fellowship, what a joy to find Leaning on the everlasting arms Oh, what blessedness, what a peace is mine Leaning on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all That's our little take 20 again for another week. And thank you very much for logging in. I would encourage you that if you've been blessed by this little session, it will be uploaded onto the YouTube channel because I know not everyone's on Facebook. And it will be up there and you can maybe send it as a link to some other friend or person that you know who might just need a bit of encouragement on their life's journey. So thanks very much for watching and may the Lord bless you. And until we meet again, Keep leaning on the everlasting arms. Good night.